Coke Machine for Real Fishing, December 29th, 2023. This episode is brought to you by a dude by the name of Ian. Ian has been a huge supporter of For Real Fishing for a good number of years. He's always there for all the live streams. Super awesome dude. He's always sending me pictures of the fish he's catching and he's very appreciative of all the efforts I put into everything. So Ian would like to wish his wife, Melissa, happy birthday, which is apparently today, December 29th. So happy birthday, Melissa. Ian's gonna be coming up January 15th to 18th to Fish Bay Marina. He wants to do a big shout out to Fish Bay Marina and he's coming up here to really make it happen. And I really hope the ice is all firmed up by then. Anyway, Ian, thanks a million for sponsoring the ice report. Much appreciated. So that's my boy back there. He's digging for alien bones. You know, as they say, it ain't much, but it's honest work. So as you guys know, I've been away for the last five days or so, and I was down south where everything was rainy and foggy. And what I've been hearing is that it's been pretty much the same up this way. As I was coming back north, the most striking thing that I noticed was there was no snow anywhere. In the forest, it usually holds onto that snow for extra time, and it was all gone. That got me extremely concerned. And then when I pulled into my driveway, I stepped out into mud, not just a little bit of mud, but thick mud, showing me that it's been wet and soggy for a long time. It was warm when I left and it was warm when I got back. And only now, Friday afternoon, is it starting to cool down a little bit. I can tell you there's a little bit of a breeze, but as I came down the hill here at Kinsman Beach, I looked out on the lake here and I just saw a huge amount of open water. And then directly along the shore here, there's a little bit of water. And as well, the ice looks like the kind of ice that you see in the spring, heavily broken down, crystallizing. There's water flowing up on the edges of the ice. It looks pretty grim for what would normally be the brink before the beginning of the season. It is very unfortunate that this is what the ice looks like now. And I don't know if I've seen it quite like this at this time of year. I did see a picture from 2015 of waves coming up on the shore. So I know it could be worse, but there's so much open water out there right now. Like there's no point in me chipping holes in anything. Basically, we got to get some cold and it's got to come and it's got to stay all night long, all day long for a week or two before I'm even gonna be poking around out there whatsoever. There's nowhere on this part of the lake that anybody's gonna be fishing on opening day, I can tell you, and except if you brought a boat, that could be a possibility. So I received some information from a bunch of people across the lake. I was talking to Bernie all throughout the week that I was gone, and Bernie sent me a drone clip that he took on Thursday morning that shows lots of water on the ice and some open cracks. Today he sent me a few pics showing open water in the area. He wrote, the ice is very soft and certainly not safe to walk on right now. In a post he wrote, for the most part, the ice on Hunter's Bay has held, but it's not strong enough to support much because it is crystallized. There are a few spots where it has opened up, I also heard there is open water on Fish Bay as well. Even a couple of days of freezing temperatures isn't going to make it safe. Wait it out. It will be safe eventually. I agree with what Bernie is saying here for sure. Northern Boys Fishing sent me a couple of pics of some ice chunks they had taken on Wednesday. Note that there are a few warm days between now and then. One chunk looked decent with 5.5 inches of ice and the other one was taken 10 feet away and it had a lot of the crystallized vertical characteristics of ice that you usually see in the springtime when it started to break down from warm temperatures. It was pretty distinct when I looked at that picture and saw that it had gone into all sorts of crystallized formations, which is a little bit concerning. I received several aerial pics from Austin Garbett of the North Bay Dock showing open water there and some Calendar Bay pictures showing the ice there that looked pretty black. Mark Wolf sent me this video on Wednesday detailing the ice at Sunset Point. I got an update here. Uh, it's Wednesday, December 27th. I'm here at Sunset Point. Uh, it doesn't look good. It's uh, opened up a bit uh, to be expected. That's to be expected out in front of Sunset. Um, you know, there's a swath of water about 100 meters across that's kind of opened up. But uh, further uh, south, out uh, into towards uh, uh, the Lavage Champlain, it seems to be uh, holding up. So 
out near the island out to, uh, <clears throat> by sunset it's still there's still ice and uh, there's still ice out by the red marker buoy but uh, it still doesn't look good for the opener anyway um, it's gonna need a lot more cold weather uh, and hopefully we don't get any wind or all this ice will likely be gone so again doesn't uh, really look good for an opener here thanks a lot mark so if you like the nipissing ice report don't forget to give me a thumbs up i'll be doing a couple more reports before the season opens including sunday i'm going to take a look at the ice on calendar bay and see what it's like because there's going to be a couple of cold nights between now and then we'll see if anything's made a difference but I'm gonna call it right now as a spud bar opener. That means if you're going anywhere near the lake, I want you to have your spud bars, your ice spikes, your floater suits, safety equipment. This ice has been heavily compromised by the warm temperatures that we've had over the last couple of days. So play it safe. It's probably best not to go on the lake, but I know some people are planning on it. So safety equipment, make sure you have it and know what to look for when you're looking at unsafe ice. And sometimes you can't see it. Be safe out there. I don't wanna hear about people falling in. Hopefully nobody does. If anyone else out there wants to sponsor an ice report, just send an email to sponsortheicereports at gmail.com and it will hook you up.